Hi and welcome back to the channel and today's video I'm finally going to build the um, Partridge Electronics uh, Joy Match Antenna Tuner thing got this quite a while ago at the um, British Vintage Wild Society swap meet at Goldborn I can't remember what year it was but it was a fair amount of time ago I thought it was about time I actually built the damn thing anyway let's uh, so that's what's in it. So and see what it came with. So we got the um the box it came with. Let's move that to one side. We've got the uh partridge budget line. Triple purpose L match. Let's move in there a bit. All the gubbins he sold. Um, we've got got the receipt for it. Just a VFA system, joy frame, joy match, ATU, uh, treatment video system, hurricane brace, AGTU, partridge package, body block, all paid for. And we've got some instructions. No expense plates pay. No expense spared here, it's all written. 25 watts, hold nine, blah de blah de blah. Tin copper wire, all the gubbins. And instructions. That's bad day look. Alright, in the box. Uh, we've got the conductor with uh, different taps coming off. Got a rotary switch and binding post plug thingy. One knob, another knob. Take these attaching from the um, battery switch to the inductor. An old school buddy connector. I'm probably going to replace that with something else. A bit of a wire. And the variable uh, capacitor has already, already been put on. So I might have to take that off because I might need a bit of, so bit of solder under there. Anyway, that's what's in it, and uh, let's try and start building it. Right then, so... Solder piece PVC cover wire to the solder tag under the focal variable capacitor. Not to the side of the tag, so that's that plastic bit of wire. Let's try and figure out which way. Okay. I'm presuming this is the PVC covered wire it was on about. Even though it's like a... Weirdy coax stuff. Right, let's see how difficult this might be because I am working around the camera. Mm, you can all laugh at my lack of soldering skills while we're at it. I'm going to need an extra pair of hands, which I don't have. Oh, come on. Essentially what this tuner is, it's an inductor and a capacitor, so it's like a pie. Like a pie system. No, I don't know whether this is just a centre bit I'm soldering to it or the old damn lot, but we'll have a mess later. Hmm, right, much faffing around. Um, sold it, we'll try to solder the outside bit of the new uh, connector because this one's just too small. Old school one. That was a pain in the neck, so apparently the next thing to do is sort the rotary switch 
and the uh, inductor so that's going to be fun this is getting a bit, a bit fiddly but right, hopefully so far, we'll, we'll get there coax, coax plug sorry sold from there to there coil pin to coil to the fixed vein and to the outer of the coax socket this is getting fiddly and it's not giving me much joy we're getting there slowly so I think the next thing to do is wire them to bottom end of the coil to the centre and then do all the switch stuff I'm getting there slowly and it would help more if the instructions were more clear but never mind right, I did run into some issues right, so far carry. well that whilst I've come with it, I've run out of it I underestimated it so I've got some of this white stuff I've had knocking them on for ages I did put that the wrong way around I should have started from the bottom gone up the top but and then wires are crossing other than that I think I've figured it out the instructions aren't brilliant but um, getting there slowly so um, two more links to put in that's all of in uh, binding post which is going to go in the bottom which I think is linked to that and we should be ready right, so I finished it and it was a bit of a faff um, that other copper wire well I thought it was copper wire wasn't copper wire so I had to use some other stuff these should be in the right order but they're not but you know what else can you do pretty much ready to go so I think the basis of this is with the joystick antenna which is like just a random wire goes into there you use the adjustable switch to to select whichever bit of the induc tapped inductor and to the variable capacitor basically for maximum noise or maximum smoke as they would say this was actually a bit of a pain in the neck to install I mean the instructions aren't well, they're not fantastic well then again that's probably just me not reading it properly anyway I think the next thing to do is to see if it works I'm not going to transmit because while well, I'm indoors although outside is crap but I'm sure I can cobble together a strip of wire from somewhere so let's try that well I've had a quick turn around and I don't think the wire I'm using is long enough, it's about seven and a bit metres, but a quick demonstration, so I presumed it would tune for maximum noise, but I just seen this round. There's no difference, but if I can do this more than one with one hand, so let's key up the microphone. Yes, the wire's a bit high. So let's go back one. It's a little lower there. Mm, not quite. I really don't want to blow the fans off this video. I'm only putting five watts through it. Slightly lower. Still too high, but slightly lower. And yeah, that's getting too over and so if my phone goes off. So I think what I need to do here is get a longer wire because the joystick VFI VFA sorry is two wooden dowels with wire wrapped around them to the copper centre bit and then more wire effectively it's just like a loaded random wire so um, I'm going to have to experiment on this but anyway I'm going to leave it here because you've probably all asleep and clicked off or screaming at me in the comments of I've done something wrong but anyway that was me attempting to build the joy match uh, triple purpose ATU so triple purpose that's probably one frustration to lies and free and all stuff i don't know does that mean i've got to build the vfa joystick now maybe next time anyway that's it for me hope you've enjoyed it or got some enjoyment out of it
And until next time, 73, good DX and all that stuff. Bye for now.